Hello, this is Elena, Burnest Cafe. Opening another jar. Um, but first, I want to show what I picked up. Thrifting. Two ninety nine. I did not get any kind of discount on this. They had every color but white. <laughs> I think these earrings are awesome. They're purple. Okay. It's all glass. And my favorite antique bronze. I like this so much better than bright silver or gold. But they're gorgeous. Even the bottom. If I can get the light. Or purple. Like a real pretty purple. So. And this was from the other jar. I wanted to see if we could see this stone better. It's kind of like a milky. And I still haven't figured out what the brown is, but it's cool. I will probably take it off this cross. I don't know yet, but that's my plan. Also this bracelet, I did look it up. MRE. Um, I, I knew it was old. I just knew it was old. It's like Victorian um, Art Deco uh, with the moonstones. My mom had a moonstone ring, so the minute I saw this, I knew it was moonstone. So, and I love it. I love this too. Can you tell? I'm still wearing it. <laughs> But these are my keepers out of that jar. The rest is sorted for donations and stuff. In that first jar, I paid $59.46. And the one I'm going to open now, I paid $76.49. And it was marked $89.99. No. And I picked this one because this pendant, <laughs> which looks like egg yolk amber and sterling for some Christmas. Let's see what else is in here. I need to adjust this a little. I really don't see much of anything else. But there could be, I mean, that looks like silver. And I know there's like a, and there's this weird thing here. I like to know what that is. And there's a large pearl on cording. But the rest just doesn't look too exciting. I do like my neutrals shells. And it looks like there's some amethyst in here. So stone something let me see if I can raise this up a little bit see if that helps maybe there so without further ado let's crack it open ah. magnet <laughs> Magnet was stuck. There's my Christmas brooches, which is cool because I sold a lot of Christmas brooches. I really want to see this one that looks like a horse, too. <gasps> did I cut it? Oh, I did scratch it. Oh, 
here we go. I knew this was a JJ. <laughs> you just know after a while. This is an NR. This is gonna get some that pink stuff that you clean with. I'll clean that right up. Make it all pretty. Look at them little crazy legs. Crazy cat legs. And a JJ brooch. I was just trying to see if this spelt anything, and nope, it's just cats on swirls. There's another. Same one. Better shape. Christmas brooches. But this, this is why I bought it. Let's have a mark. I'll just turn the light on. 925. Symbol looks like a leaf. Right there. Sterling. Pendant brooch. Amazing. Look at that egg yolk. Egg yolk amber. There's my little polishing cloth. Yeah. Best polishing cloth. I have no idea what brand this is. <laughs> but it's the best. And I've had it forever. So that's why I bought the jar. <laughs> Another little brooch. Kitty cat. That's kitty cats. There was something else I was going to show. That, oh, that little owl. Silver brooch. Um, <laughs> it's funny. I have it put away. Right in the middle. Between, like, on the back where the eyes are and the other little dots, it says stir. <laughs> so, I couldn't really see it. But I knew it was sterling. This is just a cuff silver tone. It's actually pretty nice. There's no wear. They're very little. Something here is magnetic. I'm thinking a clasp on here. Yes, yep, there it is. And I saw a mark. Looks like Premier Designs. Mother of Pearl. All pieces are there in excellent condition. See the inside. Yeah. Excellent. I will pay attention to their jars more. I haven't gone to a thrift store in a while, though. <laughs> but yesterday, I just had to go. Looks like paparazzi to me. There's another little, oh my goodness. It's a sparkly, I don't know if you can see how sparkly. Little scarecrow with a crow on his shoulder. All stones there, shoot. I like the cute stuff. And of course we got watches. This one has a crown. No name. Japanese movement. 
Found Mike's watch. It says Mike. Image of Mike. Made in China. It's funny. <laughs> so, here, that needs to be redone. I know how to do those knots. But it's a large pearl on a leather cording. I like these kind of things. I would wear this after I fix this knot <clears throat> so it slides. You can always look those up. They show how to do it on YouTube. That's where I learned. It says dragon. It might be part of a BFF thing. Because, you know, yin and yang. You only got one side. This is pretty. It's dusty. That's a nice piece. Looks like something broke, but I don't really notice it. Maybe. I would trim it and wear it, but that's me. Okay, that's... Oh, I thought this was an earring. <laughs> uh, it's not an earring. A very long chain. Very long. Two lobster claws. I don't understand why. Let's see why I thought it was an earring. No maker or anything. Just a fun piece. I have a match to this earring, which is good. I like the latch back and it has detailing on the front, which to me is a bonus. These are actually pretty, pretty little earrings. Another watch. It's all scratched up. Citizen, Japanese movement, watches, a big pair of earrings, concho, look how big that back is, wow, I can see my face, these are newer. I saw a lot of these little thingies floating around in there, so something's broken. And a pair of studs. Oh, this is broken. No name. Can it be repaired? Is it worth repairing? It just needs to go on a jump ring. I don't know. There's some letters. I was trying to read it. But it just needs reattached to... I saw a jump ring right there. Easy fix. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. And a chain. And I think this is silver. Ah. Nope. Or at least.
least I've practiced some. Oh, just a silver tone chain. Oh, this is silver. Nine two five. Oh my gosh. Nine two five. Let's zoom in here. It says nine two five. Can I get it? Kinda right there. And then it has SS. Six five. Whatever that means. So that's pretty cool. I wasn't expecting really anything in here except for this. <laughs> so it's like anything is a bonus. Oh, and the, the Christmas brooches. So this is pretty cool. I like that it's adjustable. It's still too big for me right now. Let me adjust it like this. It's cool. And it has no name on it, but I think it's cool. Very Greek, Roman, whatever style. I like brooches. What do I do? Okay, I saw this Kentucky Derby thimble. Oh, it's glittering. W-A-P-W, made in UK. Little pewter guy on a horse. Oh, a cameo. Another one of those things. Where did I put the other one? I'm going to put them off to the side. Little cameo. No name is pretty bent, but that's an easy fix. Not sterling or anything. It's cute. I may repurpose that into something. Undecided yet. And what's a jar without pearls? <laughs> I have these I have these totes um, I got at the Dollar Tree they're pretty good size they're, I store all the stuff that I list on my Etsy I have them sorted I have one that's just pearls <laughs> anything that's got pearls it's in there because I have so many this is actually really nice, nicely made, but there's no name or maker, it's just a nice piece. It's got like little silver bits in between. Need to pay attention to my screen, whoops, there we go. That's a nice pearl, though. Nice pearl. Okay, I'm finding earrings. No match. Oh. Whoa! No way. We'll get to that. This also has a bracelet. <laughs> so I have a set. Let's see what that looks like. Really nicely made. I mean, the the toggles, awesome. The bits are just nice. Move you out of the way. And then the matching bracelet. Oops. Nice. Just a big ball chain uh, another one of these so far 
why I've got four of these. Don't know what they go to. But there's four of them. And check this out. Of course, it can't go on my Etsy shop. Oh, here. I'll do the small ball chain first. Since it's not tangled. I am pretty pleased with these two jars. A Kendra Scott. Usually it's marked around there. Um, Druzy. There's the Kendra Scott. Super cool. Look at that. It's been a while since I've gotten a Kendra Scott. So I got two of them. <laughs> Faceted abalone. And is it really Kendra Scott? Kendra Scott. So that's amazing. Very neutral colors. You know me, I like my neutrals because they go with anything. Here's a little moose charm. Don't think it's silver or anything. Definitely feels like pewter, but it's kit. Kit little moose. This has a mark on it. Looks like N.A. So, possibly Avon? Oh, I'm not sure. But it comes with an extender. I think it is, because I have another Avon necklace that came with an extender. So, there's that. A wine necklace and blues. That's a pretty good little jar. What's this? Something broken. Really damaged. I just kind of threw it in there. BFF. It's tangly. I don't think that's gold or anything. Nope. Damn, my magnet. <clears throat> Another stone. Oh, that's cool. I think that's with this, this hemolite, hematite. Ooh. I'm doing this while I have this song in my head. So if I break out and song about a capybara, $40 US. 720, I'm not sure where 720 must be, but look at this, <laughs> to me, oh yeah, amazing, I don't know how to show this up, <laughs> it's amazing, Getting me in the mood for summer. How did that survive this jar? <clears throat> what else we got here? Ah, uh, something that looks like paparazzi-ish. I'd probably wear it because I like it. <laughs> This 
this cold. I think it's just a glass bead on vegan leather, faux leather. There's a bonus hair in here. Let's see if I can get it out. Just a really long chain. It's got, I just squished some beads on there. Made it two-tone. Lightweight. This one's got hair. The sec. Okay. I think I got it. Okay, it's two. Clears. Clears. Um, just a little charm bracelet with hearts, plastic beads. Oh, jeez, you scared me, Moo. Let me get a drink of my coffee. Uh -uh. No, don't you dare chew on that. This great big watch. Look how big this is. <laughs> it's huge. For the person that likes all black. A bunch of bracelets. Oh, I got beads falling. Shell bracelets, stretchies. I like to put these around candles. I know I probably say that every time. The memory wire bracelet. I will probably take this apart. Definitely needs some washing. Let me get these beads. They are stone. And then there's this bracelet. I don't think these are real lava. In fact, I don't think anything's real on this. No. No. Ugh. Why? I have a squirt bottle. <laughs> I just have to show it. I don't have to use it. Okay. And lock it. Has a little design on it. Is it someone's initials? I don't think so. It can be repurposed though. It's like a blank slate. Okay, this thing's kind of tingled. I can tell already why they got rid of this. See this wire here? Probably scratched their neck. And then there's some over here. And it's way too big to go in there. But it's got abalone, two strand. Moving on. 
So that's why I would get rid of it, because it would be scratching my neck. Then there's this that I saw that was kind of interesting. There's a rhinestone. Just seems very simple and nice. I don't think there's anything on it. So there's no way to identify the maker, but it's amazing. Another watch by Fossil. Just checking to see if it works. Sometimes that's all they need. This is one of those that you can change the felt. get it back in there with the lotus flower a bangle just like a gunmetal colored bangle no name or anything this big thing somebody made this somewhere Sparkly. It's just really twisted. Getting down to the end. There's another bead. Wow. That's done. This thing's huge. somebody say nobody buys these things <laughs> obviously they do because we keep getting them in jars same with the shelves nobody buys them yes they do that's why you keep getting them see and here's another No clasp because it could just go over your head. In black, faux turquoise. Oh my goodness. Two piece, $38. I guess nobody wanted it. So where's the second piece? I don't see the second piece. I guess I only got the first piece. It's got a big amethyst on the bottom. This thing's kind of weird. That would catch on everything. Don't chew my plant. So there's that. And then there's just this black one with irregular seed beads. I like it because it makes it sparkle. And then I have three single earrings that I could throw in with the other single earrings from the other jar. I'm going to keep that. I can glue something on there. Oh, this was a Kendra Scott earring. What a bummer. It says Kendra Scott. <laughs> they may keep that. Oh, and... Four of these, I have no idea what they came off of. And then I 
I get a feeling they're going to end up as something. My scores out of this jar, definitely. The egg yolk amber. Uh, the two Kendra Scots. Yes, please. Another bead. I like the horse. I like the scarecrow. <laughs> These earrings are pretty. The JJ. The Christmas brooches. What else we got here? Oh, the pearls. I'm not a big pearl person. I think uh, I just got tired of pearls. <laughs> but these are really nice. You know, when you just feel something that's is good quality, and anything else. I think this will be nice when it's fixed. Oh. I like quite a bit. big pearl, the sterling bracelet with the, uh, they're lion heads. And this thing, look at this. I know one of my daughters would love that. <laughs> Anything else? Anything else that I was just swooning over? I do like these. I think. That's, oh. This. I think that's it. Yep. And then there's a little kitty cat. I like this one too, but it needs cleaning with the pink stuff. No, so, that's it. Do I think I did good with this jar? Yeah, I think I did awesome with the last jar. $79. I could definitely... Now, I'm a reseller. Not only do I love jewelry, but I love to resell it. I like it when people buy something that they love. And I've been selling a lot of stuff lately. I just love that little scarecrow. I fully believe I can get my money back just with one piece. I just have to let go of it. <laughs> And then the Kendra Scott. I could probably sell both of these. They would have to be like eBay or something. It would probably take two Kendra Scots to equal what I could. I was looking these up. They're like $85. That isn't quite as ornate as this. That's, that's the jar right there. That's why I grabbed it. Not knowing there would be, you know, extra bonus stuff. But there we go. What do you think? What was your favorite? There's a lot of little goodies in here. I've been very pleased with the jars lately. So. That's it. That's all I got to share. Oh, I want to talk since I got a little bit of time. <laughs> I saw, I would have to show you a picture. It's, it was on my Pinterest. So 
Somebody took a big medallion, right? This is an Aries. And then they did four rows of pearls. Except for now I can't sell it. I'm not an Aries, but I spent six hours on this just doing the pearls because they're all wrapped. I could have used the little thingy that just makes it uh, you know, just stuff like this. The thing is, they're always kind of wiggly. Can you hear that wiggly sound? These are all real pearls. Two types of pearls. Potato and these smaller ones. Let's see, I can't sell this now because I spent six hours. So now I need to find like a Virgo medallion. Or I could even wear a Leo. <laughs> I'm right cuspy like. What does it say? Yeah, like I hate black. See how it goes. So I thought it was cool. I was just looking for ideas. And I saw that and went, ooh, I'm going to make it. And I'm going to spend six hours on it. <laughs> so anyways, sorry. Babbling again. So I'm going to go. Leave a comment. Tell me which one's your favorite. What do you think of these, of this jar? Um, I think that's it, right? Oh, this is pretty cool too. There we go. Okay, thanks for hanging out. Bye-bye, take care, stay blessed.